He's already serving time for murdering two children back in the 1980s, but two new Bear County indictments could keep Janine Jones behind bars for the rest of her life. Jones, who was nicknamed the killer nurse, was indicted this morning on yet another child murder charge. It's the second new case in the past month, but she is believed to have committed dozens more. Courtney Freeman tells us she's supposed to be getting out of prison in less than a year, but probably now won't. I want to thank everyone for showing up. The second here. recent announcement of its kind coming from Bear County District Attorney Nico LaHood. Today, a Bear County grand jury returned another true bill of indictment against Janine Jones for the September 16th, 1981 murder of Rosemary Vega. Janine Jones was said to be the nurse caring for the two year old when she died. Late last month, LaHood announced the indictment against Jones for the December 12th, 1981 murder of 11 month old Joshua Sawyer. She's accused of injecting him with a deadly dose of the powerful sedative Dilantin. Though LaHood did not reveal what evidence his team has in the Vega case, he feels confident in it. The evidence we presented was legal and ethical, and we believe that it will show that Ms. Jones is guilty of murder. He admits because the cases are both older, they'll pose some challenges. That's why we've taken our time. We do not react. We've done our due diligence. We have a strong team working on this case. We've thought of all the legal issues. Reaction from both the Sawyer and Vega families is what he's keeping in mind. I think that they both can say that they didn't think this day would ever come. Um, so it's bittersweet because they still have been cheated out of a life with their precious baby. But but yet they're hoping that, that she will be held accountable. A law on the books when Jones was sentenced allows her an early release. She's now set to leave prison March 2018, decades before her 99 year sentence was supposed to end. Have a great day. LaHood plans to have her extradited back to Bear County before her release date to await trial for these two new charges. Each charge carries five to 99 years or life in prison. Today, the grand jury recommended Jones's bond be set at $1 million just for this latest incident. Right now, she's imprisoned in Gatesville, Texas. At the Justice Center, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.